I know most of us, gay men, anybody else who's watching this video, we've all been hurt. We've been hurt by somebody. But then we hold on to them. Now, sometimes the hurt isn't so deep-seated that it's like, okay, I can't work through it. But if this becomes a pattern, and I'm not talking like physical abuse, that's a whole different thing, domestic violence, mm -hmm. no, not a fan of sticking around for that stuff, but I totally understand that. Had some firsthand experience in that realm. But if somebody is hurting you, why are you holding on? Is it really that you're that afraid to be alone? Is it really that you're that afraid that you won't find another friend or another partner? Is it really that afraid that that job is the only job on the planet that will provide you with what you need to survive? Yes, I get it, guys. Some of you are going, yes, yes. Okay, that may be a truth that you believe right now. But what happens if you change that belief? What if you release the hurt that somebody's causing you and go, I can do better? I do not have to stick around for this. In fact, I'm coaching one of my clients right now and the work environment is toxic. I'm just gonna go there. And we're getting there. Yes, they're not in a position per se to like jump ship, go, but we're getting there. Because what we're doing is we're creating a plan to like, well, what would it feel like on the other side? What are the ways you could do this? What are the ways you could walk away? What do you wanna experience in a different job? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Too often, we listen to our little gray matter up here. And it tells us lots of things because it likes to talk to us all the time about why you can and can't. Can, can't, right? The devil, the angel, the devil, the angel. What I want to invite you to think about is if you wouldn't allow that hurt to show up, if you took yourself out of the situation, if you took yourself out of the friendship, if you took yourself out of the toxic work about, environment, if you took yourself out of a relationship that is not working, Hopefully, if it's abusive, you are working to get out of that. And quit convincing yourself that th this is the best thing for me. In fact, ask yourself, is this the best thing for me? And if it's not, what could I do to make it better for me? That's where I'm going to end this video. What could you do to make it better for you rather than holding on for dear life?